We're gonna be reacting to the craziest things we caught during Spooktober. Felt like there was a string in my chest almost, and like it was literally like I was being pulled. What? That was just one of the craziest things I've ever seen. We didn't think anything was happening at that moment. Is your reflection weird? But we were really trying to come up with any rational explanation. Yeah. It was in this room that I did start to feel like really scared though. Yeah. And then just built throughout the night. You can see everyone in frame, so who is behind me? I still think about it at night sometimes and just really? get, yeah, get just terrified. When you started describing the contorted body, even though I didn't see it in the TV like you mm -hmm. did, I'd seen it before in real life. Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, we're Mackie and Amanda. I'm Mackie. I'm Amanda. And, and we're, we're the Spooky Boos. If you guys haven't seen our new channel yet, go check it out. It's called Amanda and Mackie, and I have to do the intro, and I want to start out with this video saying I am so excited. I did not have to do the intro for this video. You wanted to do the intro, you knob. I don't know how you do it, but I am excited for this video. I am too. In this all honesty. is something we've been wanting to do for a while now. But we feel like we had to wait for the end of Spooktober to really make sure that we had all of our ducks in a row for yes. this video. We just had enough crazy things from practically the first week to have finished this video. Yeah, and even like out- <sighs> fuck. I do like how I never get texted <laughs> <Never>. until <laughs> the camera goes on. Never. <laughs> but anyway, we had some insane stuff happening in our houses too that we weren't even talking about like on camera <laughs> because like for me, like some of the stuff happening, I'm like, I don't want to like talk about it and jinx it even more for us. Really? The stuff that was happening in my house made me actually want to commit to buying cameras inside just to see. Something so inexplainable happened in my house that I need to put a camera in because I would have done anything to have had this footage. Just weird stuff was happening all through October. Should we talk about that stuff now or later? Later. Alright. Anyway, in this video, in case you can't tell, we're gonna be reacting to the craziest things we caught during Spooktober. And there were a lot. I think to start with this first clip, it's actually something we did last year too. And to take it back a step further, it's something that we said we were never gonna do. Yeah. <laughs> um, we ordered a haunted mystery, actually three haunted mystery boxes <laughs> online to be delivered to Thankfully, not my house. <laughs> <laughs> I went to a P.O. box, so sorry to have ever worked there. But something happened in this video where it was kind of like more after the fact that we realized, so we didn't go into detail much, and it's just something we talk about all the time. We're like, that is actually crazy. So we're gonna play it here for you guys. Okay, so this is right after you start talking about The little girl is like definitely the one that's more prominent. I'm gonna literally set this in the box, but you're right about the little girl. It says when I read this, hold on. It says I wasn't even shocked. A spirit house is a larger porcelain doll. Her uh, her Did name. Do that one specifically? Yes, her name is Maurice. She's only eleven. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> That's what it says. Little girl, if you're oh my god, and we happen to come to a freaking playset. Right here. She's worried about her dress getting dirty. Okay, sorry. <laughs> she doesn't want you back in your box, but I'm going to put in the ball. What do you feel? That one is definitely more of like a dick. Like whatever it goes with that like trickster and he has some attitude issues. He has some attitude issues. So that one's with the other one. He's an attitude adjustment. I keep seeing something. Really? It's the rocking horse say. Behind the bench. Spirit attached to the rocking horse is named Jonah. What does it look like? He's around a child? Nine years of age. And he's a girl? But no. It, like it actually kind of looks like this doll. Awesome looks like a little like a young, it's actually looks like a young, like a young boy. Really? Light hair. Looks probably like four or five. It's crazy absolutely. that's the one that you picked up on the most too. She's like absolutely the most prominent. How does she feel about... She, does she likes us. Do you know where <laughs> she is? She's, yeah, going back and forth between Kaya and us. Between who? Kaya. Your dog. Your dog? <laughs> I forgot I put that. I made a little bit of video. <laughs> Out of all the pictures we have of her. Yeah, we gotta go 
for her. She likes us. Yeah, Bobby is laying down. I'm looking for the other one. She's right there. What the f was that? Okay. <laughs> I'm confirmed what that noise was, but. Do you know where she is? She's, yeah, going back and forth between Kaya and us. Between who? Kaya. Your dog. Wait, wait, wait. What do you mean? She's like visiting Kaya. I'm so scared. I think she just likes dogs. So that's a just simple and answer. So she, is she going to my house and then all of a sudden she'll appear here? Yes. I need to call my mom and see if Kaya's doing I'm so anything. glad that I shared that with I you. Know. I don't have my phone either. That's why it was three minutes different. So we yeah. didn't have our phones. Also, we always have our phones on us. I know. How weird is that? Okay, has she met Kaya before this? Yes. Like, really? You think yes. she's been in my house? Yes. Because Kaya's been acting weird and weird stuff has been happening in my house. Really? Yeah. Like stuff moving? Yes. Yes, stuff moving. Remember? The belt? The day oh, yeah. this arrived is the day that the belt went flying. Oh, yes. Yes. That's what it was. Oh my god. Okay, okay, so that happens. We get in the car, and I think by the time we got in the car, I had already had a text from my mom. Like, I was gonna say a missed call or yes. a text. Yes, it was a text with a video, but right away I called her, like first thing. She said Kaya was being just weird, just looking at something. So we talked about that for a little bit and she's like, yeah, she's definitely been like walking around, looking up, just acting like she sees someone. And then I hang up with her and that's when we click on the video and see Kaya just like that. So crazy. You probably, probably still have that video, huh? Yeah. And so the thing was that we didn't talk about on here is that I had the mystery boxes at my house for two to three days before we filmed this video and you didn't even know that. And mm -hmm. you said that this little girl has been there for a couple days. And so it, it like all just clicked that when we brought the mystery boxes in the house, that's when all this weird stuff started happening, including the belt flying off the loop. That actually happened, it was the night when you were going to film with Faze Rug and we were, yeah. talking, we were talking on the phone. We started talking about haunted stuff, obviously. Yeah, <laughs> and her ears. Right then, I had a belt literally on a nail, like angled upward like that, and the belt hook, like this part on the nail, all of a sudden the belt goes flying off of that loop. Which means something had to have lifted it up off of the mm -hmm. hook for it to have gone flying off. Yeah, and for the, the night before that, Kaya was staring at the glass slider like the entire night. I'm like, Kaya, what's wrong? What's wrong? And she was just really freaking me out. It was just crazy to me, like how all the timing just matched up perfectly. The fact that she was at your house for days I before. Know. As soon as the mystery boxes got there, I didn't even put two and two together. Personally, I think that's our craziest investigation we have ever done. Like, it was absolutely insane. This was at Huntington Beach High School Theater. Just, you, I need to show you the bathroom part because okay. you're, you're going to full not believe it. Full disclosure, I haven't watched it. That's why I'm silent. This is When I was sitting there watching it, I was, my jaw was dropped. I'm like, how could this be possible? Let's go to right when we walk in because it starts the second we walk in there. So to give a little backstory on this, we're at Huntington Beach High School Theater. We are going into the boys' dressing room. We never get audio interference. I think we've had audio interference maybe once what? or twice. Yeah, twice maybe. Um. So when you see this, you're gonna sh** yourself because 
I've never seen anything like it. The only time I could think we had audio interference was um, on the porch of Mrs. Oh, Mrs. Whaley. Whaley. Yes. I'm like, it's not Winchester, but it's W. Yes. It was not coming to my head. Whaley. Completely cut out. Second yes. we stepped on the deck, and then the second we stepped off, it came back. Oh, well, <laughs> well, watch this. <laughs> the noise you put for the place. Yes. They definitely do. Shut that door. Him just listen to this, how it's going in and out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but, but what could cause that? I don't. Oh, it's so quiet in here. Is it? Did you not hear that? I did actually. Just to sh I want to show that there's no one else here. Whoa. Was that not you? No. George? My laptop just completely switched. What the fuck? Sounds like somebody's playing the whole thing. Okay, that was weird, but I'm rewinding because you, like, even off camera, you just need to hear this. We should have knocked. Can you knock again like that? What the last one is It's, it's like painful. The light on what the fuck? fuck? Have any of you heard any audio like that ever? Where it's going in and out, it's static. We don't have a separate mic on our no. camera. That's like the weirdest part. We had one time where we lost a video because our mic wasn't like fully plugged in or yeah. something went wrong and we've never ever ever used a mic since. But like, how could that happen? I don't know, like I really don't. And, the thing is, it was going to shit until we knocked, and that's when I f it just popped I back on. But then again, like in a couple minutes, it starts up again. It's every time we walk mm -hmm. towards the stall where the bathroom is, is when the audio starts glitching. There was also that freaking knocking on the metal thing. It sounded like someone was standing there knocking on. Do you remember that? Yes, yes. No, I remember walking by the men's... Uh, dressing room thinking like that's where we're gonna get the most activity like I absolutely no. like it this is gonna sound so weird felt like there was this string in my chest almost and like it was literally like I was being pulled what? I heard somebody recently say on an interview she was a medium also and she oh said, it was on that um that show and, oh okay yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah if she has pulling from her stomach it's like a female and if she has pulling from her chest it's a male or something of that sort i'm gonna be wrong and here's the head get ripped. yeah just i wonder if that's something that would i have no idea but that was just one of the craziest things i've ever seen just looking because obviously in person there's we didn't think anything was happening at that moment is your reflection weird we could talk about each different part of that school because something crazy happened at each of them but this one sticks out to me specifically because there's just like no explaining that mm -mm. even when i turn around and you can see i was the one holding the camera when there was audio interference i'm holding it with one hand so yeah. it's not even like i don't know where our mic is or if i could cause that like physically but i'm holding it with one hand on the handle yeah. there's nothing we could have done to make that happen it oh. Anyway, there's something even crazier that happened in this video if you want to go to that. This was one location that had a very specific story and they seem to know exactly who the spirit was. Oh my god, as you're scrolling by the tunnel that runs under the school to City Hall? There's something weird with this school. This is one place where I'd be so down to go back to and like go deeper down into those tunnels and it's just so weird. So you found a picture of her too? It was creepy because I'm looking at these yearbooks and all of a sudden Jill goes, Hey, look at this. And I was like, you must be messing with me. Like, please tell me you're messing with me because I didn't want to believe that I looked like her. Because that's just a crazy story and a crazy happening. 
uh, especially considering we land here, same place. It's not like a rope pod, did you hear it? hundred years apart. <laughs> so a hundred years, years apart. Like, yeah, and then I looked into her after we found her, and um, she Jesus. died a couple months before I was born. I was just gonna ask. Stop. You reincarnated. That's my story. <laughs> Shut up, I'm gonna say. You're reincarnated. <laughs> but when she pulls up this picture on her phone and she shows, oh my gosh, what this girl looked like, and keep in mind, this girl that we're talking to has the most interaction with George out of anyone in the cast and all of, what was it called, ABBA? ABBA. ABBA. Coincidence? Or is it because she looks, it, she's literally George's girlfriend's yeah. doppelganger. Both in the theater program. A hundred years apart, like Went she to said. the same school, like what the fuck? They look so similar. Like same age, like at a high school, Ugh. just what is... What are the what are the odds? And like, in Huntington Beach, California. I know. And uh -uh. the fact that she like out of everyone would want to go and research it more and look into it more and be the one to find pictures of the. You know Instagram. what? You're right. You're right. No one's ever done that in no. the hundred years. We searched and could not find any pictures. These girls happened to be there that night to take us around and give us the tour. <sighs> And she had the photos on her personal phone. Like, go watch this video. Yeah. She talks about the story of how she found these in a public library. They spent the entire summer, like, digging into this, and trying to figure it out. The missing yearbook with the year George would have passed away. Like, there is so much that it's, goes into it. Now they, it's yeah. like Pretty Little Liars. It really is. It's like a <laughs> like vampire diary. You know? It's like crazy. What about you? What have you, have you seen or felt anyone? Amanda's a medium. <laughs> So that's why I'm asking. <laughs> that's why I'm asking how she feels. I despise you. We in the oh, you oh, here it is. Oh, yes. oh. Or the one that was in the play. Okay, oh, that's actually God. like crazy. <gasps> no! That's insane. Like, if you really analyze this, like, feature by feature, it is the same. Her Look eye, the, eyes, eye dis the, the distance eyes, of the eyes apart from each other. The hair, like if she had styled her hair differently, just the way that the face shape, the nose. everything, they look so similar. The smile, look at the freaking top lip and bottom lips. The teeth, the, the um, I, they're not dimples, but you know what I mean? Yes. The chin, like everything. It's shock the ears. The like attached ears. ears. I like. I've never stopped to, to look really at it. Look. look, the freaking freckle on the cheeks. This is. It's just crazy. They're this. They look like the same person. They do. A hundred years apart. The same school. She died two months before her birthday. Riddle us that. Crazy. That's the weirdest story you've ever heard. Like, I mean, I've heard doppelganger stories of like yeah. people in other countries, you know, who reincarnate and they know how they passed away. Mm -hmm. Something crazy, but no, a picture. Of, they look the same. <sighs> I don't even know if we mentioned this. George is the spirit there. This is supposed. This was his girlfriend who played a big role in why George died. So it would make sense that George would be interacting the most with this yes. girl if. I she look at her. I so shook. go watch that full video because it's insane. We have to go back. We have to. This antique shop, I don't know, one of my favorite things about what we do, one of my favorite things about us, not to sound self-centered or anything. <laughs> <laughs> across this antique shop in the middle of Nevada. Virginia City. No. <laughs> Carson City. Carson City. It's not here, Nevada. It's Nevada. Anyways, all I know is this night was crazy, you guys. It was. But there was a growling happening all night long that was so intense, so we chalked it up to being an animatronic. Because there was no other explanation. Well, it kept, by like the fifth time, I'm like, you start rationalizing in your brain, like, there's no way this could be anything besides, like, something physical, like an animatronic. Because it's just happening so loud, so clear, so many times, you're just like, 
No, that's what it's gotta be. So the first few times, not even the first few times, the first many times, like we react, yeah. eventually we just stop. I'm still messed up over the fact that when we got out of there and we were able to talk to the owner again and ask her, you know, is there an animatronic in there? Is there something that would be making this noise? She was like, no, absolutely not. I know. Nothing mechanical, nothing electronic, but we were really trying to come up with any rational explanation. Yeah. Watch the video and hear the growls for yourself, but, but even like after like thinking about it, I feel like we were just subconsciously like blocking it out because it doesn't take much for us to look around. We did look around, didn't see anything electronic. We even say multiple times that every time we go into this room, it happens in a different room. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we're like, oh, it's gotta be an animatronic. We, we knew it wasn't. It's one of the gnarliest things. But that is not why we came to this video <laughs> to share this number, is it? Yeah, it is. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> we started at 2136. Does anyone want to hear Why are we with? Oh. <laughs> but my camera's on and it wasn't on before, which is weird. <laughs> um, we also both have. Oh. That was in here. Amanda, that was in here. Okay, wait, what the little what the little girl look like? I think I just saw someone like a little kid sitting like on that Ah oh, fucking chills. Whatever that screech scream. Amanda, that's in here. I can't find it. Is that is that you? Are you angry? That screech doesn't sound like someone who so would I be happy. Happy screech. It's getting further back. It's like I mean, that one yeah. was so loud. It started out right. I was so very loud. Forgive me for that. I am trying to be all serious, but literally, if we went to every single time it growled, we'd be here for a long time. So that's what it sounded like. But there were different times where the like flux fluctuation yeah, of it varied. Yeah, like, no, it sounded like so it was, good. <laughs> it felt like it was the exact same noise every time. It was like that type of noise, but sometimes it'd be like shh, shh, shh. So yeah. like different. That's what we thought was an animatronic by the end because we we're like, oh my god, it happened so many times. The like, there's like, no way it's not. She's like, the lady said no, like not a chance, not a chance that we don't have it anything that makes noise here. Yet, as you can see in our video, over and over and over and over again, from the beginning of the investigation to the end. So someone explain that. Look at Mr. Chong, look at us. What the fuck oh, look at that fish. Do you see another light below the plane? Or is that a reflection? Oh no, I totally do. What is that? It's blinking too. Yeah. Very... Is what that a How could that be a reflection? It's not. What the fuck? Okay, there was a flame and you can see the red blinking light on the back of it, per usual. But then underneath the plane was something much smaller. Yeah, like blinking at the same time, like... But a white light, a tiny little white... It was so weird. Is there a temperature warning on the camera? Oh yeah. The fuck? So that's what happened at the antique shop. All right, this was one of the scariest ones we filmed. Oh for my gosh. me, personally. Oh, I'm right there with okay, you. Okay. No, you said that, yeah, that stands. This was insane. Just the entire ambiance of the house, mm -hmm. the house burned down this last year in March, right? Mm -hmm. So the entire inside's gnarly, but the experience was even crazier. <sighs> So this is Antoinette's house, investigating our first subscriber's house. A lot of weird stuff happened in this, and I feel like I was being affected more than you guys were. And in the video, you see something weird come up. It was a male, because you would think it would be a male. Yeah. Like, there's yeah. always like that thing where it's like, it's not a male, I'm like, well. <laughs> like really yeah, yeah. just look at this. And think about how we're like all that. standing. Like Amanda's clearly in the doorway. You can see me, I'm holding. You can see everyone. You can see everyone in frame. So who is behind me? Yeah. yeah. There's yeah. A... It's like uh, that thing where it's like, it's not a male. I'm like, well. The footsteps. 
None of us are moving. If it wasn't for the door, we probably wouldn't be able to see it. Because no. that change in light and the figure is so dark. Also, you can yeah. see that you have, like, you can kind of tell the difference. You have light hair, you know yes. what I mean? You can see the different dimension to you. You can see my white sleeve. The... But not that. No, it's solid, it's short, and it, like, gets up. I don't know if it touches me or is about to touch me. I don't know if it realized that you could see it yeah, in the Yeah, I turned around at the same time. I don't know. I don't know, but it's one of the scariest things I've ever seen. It was a male, because you would think it would be a male. Yeah. Like, there's yeah. always, like, that... Thing where it's like it's not a male. I'm like, whoa. What the f the freaking footsteps? Did you feel anything? Like physically, really? did I feel something touch me? Yeah. I don't think so. I mean, yeah. this is what it said something. It was in this room that I did start to feel like really scared though. Yeah. And then just built throughout the night. What was it trying to do? And that's what, oh my gosh, maybe this is something we should talk about when we were at my house on Halloween before we were going to the party. And that all day you're like, there's been something here. The shadow. Oh, yeah. We kind of started to talk about, all right, I was, basically you woke up and all day you had been seeing a shadow figure in my house. And, and I hadn't seen it, like it started in your house. I was asking you a bunch of questions like, have you ever seen it before? Like, do you know who this is? And you're like, no. no, but the closest thing I can describe it to is like the feeling in Antoinette's house of the stuff there. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, what the fuck? Do you think it's like the same thing or does it not even- No, totally okay. different. The thing in your house was so much taller than that. Like that has oh, to great. be- th <laughs> Great. The thing that touched you has to be three feet, yeah. four feet, but the thing in your house is like six at least. Oh <laughs> God, okay. <laughs> if that brings you any comfort. No. And now the fact that my house looks like internet, so that's fun. So that's just one of the craziest things that, like something getting that close. I also want to touch on this. All through Spooktober, we had the most technical difficulties with videos that we have ever had. I don't even know where to begin. Audio, uploading, laptops, camera, batteries, lights, like every piece of equipment something went wrong yeah and we just didn't want to talk about it like me personally i didn't even want to talk about it because i'm like i don't want to like if something is doing this i don't want to give it power and like god forbid something else happened so basically one of the worst things that happened was um uh, the grand colonial video and the Mackie Mansion video. Yeah. It was, I had spent all week editing. I was literally 10 minutes away from being done. And this is on Wednesday. So the video is supposed to go up on Friday. Each of these had like three or four hours of footage. I'm 10 minutes away from being done. It's 2 a.m. All of a sudden, the entire project's deleted. Everything <laughs> deleted, but the clips were still in iMovie come whole thing. So it wasn't like the project went away, like everything like still existed. It was just all the work and time that had been done. Like it was like something went in and erased it. Yeah, reset it. Like went back four days to when I first imported the clips. There, you see all the clips sitting there whole, whole again. How does that happen? Like how did they uncut? How did they... I don't know. That's what I did not understand. I sat there for 30 minutes, like Googling, trying to figure this out. I go in the iMovie like file in Finder and I click on the, like the actual raw file of the project. All the clips are there, but why did they mysteriously get put back together? I started crying. <laughs> it was <laughs> so too traumatizing. It was 2 a.m. because I was just like, just grab <laughs> I was just like, I didn't understand what was happening. I'm like 10 minutes <sighs> away and like, I'm like there's no way this is gonna get done in time now. Somehow it got done in time, but it was awful. And so, something's pulling my I hair. know. You can't even see it on camera. It's like you try holding it because all the edges are like blending in from my angle. Okay. I closed that curtain. Yeah. Completely. And now it's open. Wait, angle it down again. Doesn't that look like a face? Where? I I knows. This. What the fuck? Oh. 
well, okay, I'm gonna let you know that it's not gonna get unhooked because you can see it's hooked on the lock. Uh -huh. But just so everybody knows, it was shut. Yeah. So like that. So the fact that something hooked it up on the that's crazy. So anyway, that was all the technical difficulty stuff we had, but we just didn't want to talk about it because I don't know. Even today it was. Oh my god. <laughs> Today's oh. video. I really like, how do you forget about that? Oh my god, I don't even know, but that was the first time something like that had ever happened to me. And then today, the video is literally like, I'm going to click the export button, and all of a sudden the entire thing freezes, and I went into panic mode. Like, oh no, this is gonna, like, something's gonna happen to it. It was it's fine. <laughs> it was fine, but it's just traumatizing. <laughs> But that wasn't the only technical difficulty we had. There were a lot of videos that went up like 30 minutes to like an hour and a half late because it would just get deleted, not deleted, but like the export would get deleted. Like it would fail yeah, the or... upload would fail, yeah, just, just so weird. The most we've ever had, like, in the entire time we've done this, October had the most technical difficulties and everything else combined. Alright, on to our last one. This was the... Uh, Last video of Spooktober also, the Grand Colonial. I turned out with a trooper. Yeah. So this one isn't like something that you physically saw on the screen, but oh, yeah. more of just like one of the most intense experiences. <laughs> yeah, like unfortunately you guys didn't get to see it, but we did. Oh my god, thank god you didn't see it. It's, I still think about it at night sometimes. And just really? Get, yeah, I get just terrified. I forgot all about that. Yeah, the freaking your scratch on your neck oh, I forgot all about that yeah I mean so much happened in this video too it was towards the end of the night we we're gonna do our last investigation so we go to our room and we're all just lounging there not even with the cameras on just recuperating before we start the investigation and I look in the reflection of the TV and I see something sitting over Katrina's head and I was looking at it for a long time. It wasn't just a glance. I was staring at it because I'm like, what is that? Is that a lamp? Like, is that, this has got to be a lamp. And I'm just probably 10 or 15 seconds just sitting there staring at it, trying to figure out what it is <laughs> until it goes like this and looks at me in the TV. And that's when I was like, <gasps> and that's freaked out. That's awful. It was one of the just like the feeling of it too was one of the most like terrifying things it looked like someone just like the, like the body was like in the tv all i could see was the head but like in my mind i pictured like a super thin like contorted oh. black body it was just the head like i couldn't i just couldn't believe it like the skin material was like you said burlap sack and that was like the word i was looking for that i couldn't put a finger on but that was the freaking word I was looking for, and then you said that you'd seen that before without telling me. And so that's when it started to get really scary, because I'm like, why is this thing around? Sometimes spirits choose to present themselves whether they want to fool you and they want you to be mm -hmm. comfortable, so they choose something like uh, an elderly person or someone young, you know, a child. Sometimes spirits do the opposite and they'll present themselves under a common name, under a common image, and that just happens to be one that I had seen before. So when you started describing the contorted body and everything, even though I didn't see it in the TV like you mm -hmm. did, I had seen it before in real life. But I think even like heavier than that was like how Katrina was reacting because it was like terrifying to see, but like I still felt good. Like yeah. I didn't feel scared really, but you could tell that it was affecting Katrina, which we talk about a lot when we go to these locations. It seems like it's always targeting one of us and the other one's fine. Mm -hmm. And so Katrina was definitely the one being targeted. For sure. What the fuck do you see? What, what do you see? What do you see? What do you yeah. see? Because I felt it. God. Like it, and I'm still unsettled over there. No, like I, unsettled. like while you were talking, like I didn't want to interrupt you, but I no. wanted you to ask to, like I wanted to ask you to pray over me, cause like, mm, something yeah. just, it doesn't feel right for some reason. I'm 
No, 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 and just, that's why. And then I think the craziest part is just you talking about how we have power over those things. I'm sure a lot of people watching struggle with like their houses being haunted. Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, the fact that we even just found each other, you know what I mean? Because yeah. Jenna, she experiences hauntings in her new place. Yeah. We both, our entire lives, have had things happen. So, TT, we went to her house. Other people have sent us in crazy stories. It's a common thing. And that's why I do want to, like, like they are they do present themselves in their common images and it's fucked up it's really fucked up so those were the craziest things in our opinion through spooktober but if we missed anything that you guys thought should have ended up in this video let us know in the comments below while you're down there hit that like button hit that subscribe button and go check out our new channel it's called amanda and mackie finally check it <laughs> i'm just kidding i'm just kidding i'm sorry <laughs> on that note, thank you guys for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Peace.